Namaste. Welcome to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Dear viewers, let us now start the program with the main affairs of the day. The 5th Chauri Tourism Festival is to be organized in Palelung Village Municipality for Apastar. The 50th meeting of the Board of Investment has decided to give permission to DIAG Industries GmbH Germany for a detailed feasibility study to set up a chemical fertilizer factory at Bardaghat in Nawalparasi. Bird flu has been confirmed in eight places in Chiton at one time. Bird flu has been seen in different places for the past few days. Plus more. Let us continue the program with the news on yak festival. The yak is a very rare species of cow-like animal found in the mountains of Nepal. As the people are going to warmer areas for settlement, the yak keeping is becoming more rare. The yak should be well conserved for the future generations of the Nepali people. The yak cheese is very famous in Nepal for its taste and quality. The Nepali yaks are used for transporting goods as well since they are strong and capable animals. The next news is on the festival on yak and yak products to attract tourists in the area. The fifth jewelry Tourism Festival is to be organized in Palelung Village Municipality for Abbasthar. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. The 5th Jauri Tourism Festival is to be organized in Falelung Village Municipality for Apanstar. The festival will be held from Chai 30 to Baishak 4. According to the organizer Falelung Kanjung Junga Tourism Association, the festival will feature stalls of buffalo and sheep products along with an exhibition of nak and tole, orang and dehi, which will introduce different species of buffaloes and yak. The village municipality has been organizing the festival continuously since 2074 PS for the promotion and protection of the endangered yak business. After the news report, let us now see the news on cow and buffalo keeping. The farmers are saying that there are many challenges in keeping cows and buffaloes as the land for grass is declining and the price of the grain is rising. There have been many people saying that the milk producing farmers do not get the cost of production as the cost of keeping the animals is going up. The Nepali government should be thinking on conservation of the land for the production of grass and the raw materials for the grain should be produced in the country. Risham Bahadur Gautam has been raising cows for a long time in full body of Chiton's Varadpur Municipal Corporation Ward Number 15. Let us now look at this news report for a little while. Risham Bahadur Gautam has been raising cows for a long time in full body of Chiton's Varadpur Municipal Corporation Ward Number 15. He has been involved in animal husbandry since his youth and says that it is becoming more and more challenging in this business. From 2018 BS, he has been giving continuity to cow rearing. He has been raising cows by running Gautam Animal Husbandry Farm in full body Ward Number 15 of Varadpur Metropolitan City of Chiton. At present, his farm has 11 cows and 18 buffaloes. He has been involved in the field of animal husbandry since his youth and now he says that there are many challenges ahead. Ramro Ramro Gai Banshi ko utpadan garni ani view aru Ramro view anta bala le raoni aur yehi dhanda garde garde yahi asam nai pugi. He says that he is dissatisfied with this business as the grains used to feed the cattle are expensive and the grass is also difficult to get. He said that if the state would provide vacant land for planting grass, provide irrigation, reduce the price of grain and provide subsidy, new youths would also be attracted to animal husbandry. <laughs> पैसा दूध को पैसा थोड़े हों दाखिली पानी हमला अलीली खाना बहुत थियो तर अलीली जाने दाना अब चोकर अथवा बस पशु आर और उस सब पे मंगो 
धेरै महँगो भयो अनि सबै महँगो भएको कारणले अहिले चाहिँ नि अब अलि गाह्रो छ Even now the state has not been able to fully focus on the problems and needs of the farmers similarly if the government does not listen to the voices of the farmers now there will be hunger in the future After the news report let us now see the news on production of chemical fertilizer in the country Since the government of Nepal has given the permission to open chemical fertilizer factory in Nepal there is going to be a study done to do just that So what does it mean for the natural food production plan of the government many farmers say that without chemical fertilizer we are unable to meet the increasing demand we are unable to answer the question at this point and even the produced production is washed away by the floods and we still have to import more from the foreign countries the 50th meeting of the board of investment has decided to give permission to open chemical factory let us now look at this news report for a little while the 50th meeting of the board of investment has decided to give permission to diag industries gmbh germany for a detailed feasibility study to set up a chemical fertilizer factory at bardagat in noval parasi the decision was taken at a board meeting chaired by prime minister and chairman of the investment board sher badur deoba in the meeting prime minister deoba stressed on the need to attract quality investment to get rid of the growing trade deficit declining remittances and tight liquidity problems he directed the office of the board of investment to take special initiative to bring in capital and technology as knowledge skill capital and technology would play an important role in laying the foundation of economic prosperity of the nation after the news report let us now see the news on bird flu the bird flu is still spreading across the country infecting thousands of poultry birds This means a major drawback in the economy of the country as poultry has been contributing 4% GDP of the country. The price of the chicken in the market has gone up due to the unavailability of the ready to eat chicken meat in many places of the country. The government has not been able to control the bird flu and the price hike in the market. Bird flu has been confirmed at 8 places in Chiton at one time bird flu has been seen in different places for the past few days let us now look at this news report for a little while bird flu has been confirmed at eight places in Chiton at one time bird flu has been seen in different places for the past few days efforts have been made to control bird flu in Chiton the capital of poultry according to the veterinary hospital and veterinary services expert center bharatpur bird flu has been found in chickens reared on farmers farms in Kharihani municipality and Varadpur Municipal Corporation Parvat Nopane an official at the veterinary hospital and veterinary services expert center Bharatpur said that it has been decided to destroy the birds within the perimeter area by monitoring three of the eight farms according to him the team is yet to determine the perimeter of the other five farms earlier bird flu was seen in five places in the district an expert team including dr ram nandan tiwari director general of the department of veterinary services has reached chiton after the bird flu outbreak in the district he informed that the bird flu has been detected in 13 districts of the country so far after the news report it is time to take a small commercial break stay with krishi television After the commercial break, welcome back to Agriculture Affairs in Nepal. Dear viewers, let us now see the news in dairy. Dairy development in the country is propelled by the cooperatives that have systems in which they help distribute milk. The new youths are also active in the agriculture sector. The Nepali manpower is lost to Gulf countries. However, those who returned are with better skills and better outlook on how to make their land productive the nepali youths are cultivating the land and doing livestock farming to earn better in the country than in foreign countries rishi ram chapagai of bharatpur metropolitan city ward number 6 of chiton has been raising cows since 2052 bs let us now look at this news report for a little while Rishi Ram Chapagai of Varadpur Metropolitan City Ward number 6 of Chiton has been raising cows since 2052 BS. He is also the director of Vinash Gai Farm and chairman of Anupurna Milk Producers Cooperative. He started his business by raising a cow. At present, he has 15 cows and is selling 100 liters of milk daily. Chapagai, who has a long experience in animal husbandry, is not able to earn income as per the cost of animal husbandry. Currently, the Bharatpur Municipal Corporation has given 
given a subsidy of 3 rupees per liter of milk. Similarly, it is necessary to give production-based subsidy to farmers, he said. Nepal ka kisan aur lassu se ra yo satta chalya sa, yo sarkar chalya sa. Yahan sab bolte koar tene kisan mati launi, jo body percent sa tese mati koar launi hota. An tei kisan mati launi, ani tei kisan mati dohan garni, hai na kisan niti na banni, hai na ab bivin niti banna paron da kisi niti banna paro, khedi wali niti banna paro, mule nirar ko niti banna paro, utpadan mati niti banna paro, utpadan mati jai tiak saru koar aur lagai dini. Farmers say that even though animal husbandry is normal, the cost of construction of structures, land rent and purchase of grain is very high. According to Chapakai, the farmers have been hit hard as those who have enough land do not raise livestock and those who want to raise livestock do not have land. He said that it was important for the state to provide ample land and grassland and concession on grains and market management. बिजोले को ठाम मा सरकार दूध की नहीं होनी दूध सरकार डीडीसी सा है ना दाउदी सा उन्हें ले जाएं बाजार में बिताना गार्ड नहीं सरकारी किन्नी भी सरकार तरकार किन्नी नहीं अने कि क्रेतारो आर त्यागी वाला किन्नी है ना थोड़े मार्जिन में अने देरी ना खाता देरी चीज तक किसान बढ़ा आईपुजन � अने उजुरी करने जाने तो पाँच और तो गरीब किसान दुखी जस कुछ जैन गोठ बड़ा भाकारो बड़ा बाहर निश्चित साग देना वो उल्लेख कहाँ कुछ जैन बीच वाला साल लड़ाई कर सकनी कहाँ कुछ जैन बेपारी साल लड़ाई कर सकनी तो संभव ही चाहिए ना तेज कारण सही सरकार ले मार्केट व्यवस्थापन कर दियो ने नेपाल को समृद्धि का आधार त्याग चाह। This is not to say that there is no support from the state for the farmers engaged in agriculture sector. However, the marketing of agricultural products and the environment in which farmers can do business with ease have not yet been created. After the news report, let us now see the news on coal storage. Coal storage is the reason why the Western agribusiness is so successful. The products which are in excess are stored for future sales. This technology stops wastage of the produce and makes the agriculture production come into full use. Without coal storage, the modern food distribution would collapse and millions of people would go hungry due to wastage of food. In Nepal, the excess food which does not get the market has been very hard to handle for many farmers. Now the government is giving projects to build cold storage in Nepal. The farmers of Dhanaldura district who have been facing the situation of not getting market price due to non-availability of cold store and not having timely sale have felt relief after the construction of the cold store. Let us now look at this news report for a little bio. Farmers of Dhanal Thura district who have been facing the situation of not getting market price due to the non-availability of coal store and not having timely sale have felt relief after the construction of coal store. Farmers have received relief after the Prime Minister's Agriculture Modernization Project Implementation Unit Dhanal Thura assisted in the construction of the coal store. Farmers who have been planting potatoes only for household purposes have started planting potatoes in the vacant land as soon as the coal store is constructed in the village. Farmers have benefited from the operation of Uttar Tara Coal Storage Industry Private Limited. According to the Prime Minister's Agriculture Modernization Project Implementation Unit, Daniel Thura, farmers are being attracted towards potato farming by implementing super zone as potato production is good in Daniel Thura district. After the news report, let us now see the news on mechanization. It is urgent for the Nepali agriculture to be mechanized. We have no time to waste and play around. The Nepali farmers have been doing primitive and subsistent agriculture till now. In this modern day and age, we look lagged behind in the movement to modernize. The machines are invented to make the lives easier. These machines reduce human labor and create employment, which is creative. The Nepali agriculture should be uplifted for the food security in the country. The Kamalamai municipality of Sinduli has made arrangements for the mechanization of the farmers of each ward to get the services from the agricultural technicians of the ward office. Let us now look at this news report for a little bio. 
The Kamalamai municipality of Sinduli has made arrangements for the mechanization of the farmers of each ward to get the services from the agriculture technicians of the ward office. Kamalamai municipality will provide technical services, soil testing, agricultural implements and technical assistance from the ward office targeting the farmers in the urban areas. The municipality has handed over soil testing kits and other materials to the agricultural technicians of all 14 wards. Farmers are happy that soil testing and grafting works will be carried out in the village. This is all in Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. Before I go, let us review the main affairs of the week. The 5th Chori Tourism Festival is to be organized in Palelung Village Municipality for a pastor. The 50th meeting of the Board of Investment has decided to give permission to DIAG Industries GmbH Germany for a detailed feasibility study to set up a chemical fertilizer factory at Bardakat in Nawalparasi. Bird flu has been confirmed in eight places in Chiton at one time. Bird flu has been seen in different places for the past few days. Thank you for watching Agriculture Affairs in Nepal with me, Nirmala Basnet. I'll be back with more affairs next time. Till then, Jai Krishi, Jai Kishan, Samritta Krishi, Nepal Kushan.